We've just had New World Season 2 announced, but now we also have a new patch. Patch 1.94 is here, and there's definitely some things you are going to want to know about. So let's jump in and talk about it. So as I said, it is patch 1.94, and basically this is going to be the end of the Springtime Bloom event. So now is your last chance to spend your tokens and farm it get that spent because we are going to be getting the Fury of the Spriggan. This is basically a world boss, I've spoke about it a couple of times. You're going to want to farm it, it's in four standard places, you want to use some flame cores to empower these braziers things and then you'll just do a lot more damage, probably around 20 people required. Yeah, you get some decent rewards we think. Now it's going to be Angry Earth rewards which I thought was for the Sandworm, that appears to not be the case. The Sandworm is looking like they are beast make of that what you will and of course this patch is going to go live tonight if you're on west coast tomorrow morning if you're in eu and wherever you are in the world obviously the first note is world experience they've removed one depreciated law note that was causing an in-game soft lock so that just makes sense good get that removed they fixed a lighting issue at malevolence i hadn't actually seen that but fair enough fixed an issue that caused the invigorated punishment perk to apply on basic attacks instead of just abilities <laughs> i didn't know that was a thing either but fair enough again like what can you say about stuff like that and then a couple of little extra juicy stuff dark ascent is actually having 15 frames of invulnerability added to it at the start up while the player is rising into the air i'm guessing you could get stunned during that and probably was making this uh, ability at this heart room quite useless or not as useful as it should have been so they're sorting that one i do not use this one I either use the root one or the explodey one. That's pretty much the only two I really use. They've increased the self-rend on the brutal variant from 15% to 30% on detonate. So that one does sort of imply to me and I need to pay attention. Now, some interesting news when it comes to flame cores. Weapons crafted from the unstable cast at the flame core forge will no longer roll dual attributes. I thought they'd fixed that a while back, but apparently, you know, it returned. Weapons created from the unstable cast can now roll the sentry attribute perks i'm pretty sure sentry is constitution right didn't realize that they couldn't roll that the armor cast are no longer going to get indestructible memento amissium will no longer drop on death i honestly don't know what that is i think it's probably to do with one of the quests and you're probably just accidentally dropping it on death and you're not supposed to now elite chests in the imperium forge now have a 50 percent chance to drop flame cores flame cores are dropping in price because of the new world event's going to give a lot of people a lot of flame cores and now they're even more common because there's going to be an increased drop rate 50 percent extra in the imperium forge from the elite chests. that's good i would have probably liked to see the mobs drop them as well they fixed an issue that caused flame cores to drop incorrectly twice to open the elite chests. they've fixed an issue that caused small loot containers to give no loot yes i was getting that and i was always like is it just a visual bug or did i not get anything i never really knew but you know seems to have fixed it fixed an issue that caused company leaderboard rewards to not properly process okay fair enough personally don't do leaderboards don't care but it is you know some people like their will they fixed an issue that caused seasonal challenge rewards to not be claimable if a different character already received it i don't play on an alt but i can imagine if you do that would be an absolute pain in the backside and then they fixed some visual issues with some of the cosmetics they've also fixed an issue that caused tasks that track other tasks like the complete seasonal challenge to not properly track if the challenge max was ever reduced so basically because they reduced some of the requirements it then meant that it wasn't tracking some of it and they fixed that now now they are buffing the season pass or nerfing it whatever way you want to say it i'm, uh, I'm done with that debate basically you're going to get increased xp so it's going to be easier to complete Stamping the season activity card is going from 250 to 300. Completing a line on the season activity card is going from 400 to 500. And completing a season activity card from 300 to 400. A bit of me feels like when you complete the whole card, you should get like an extra special Brucey bonus, but like a little bit more than that. But fair enough. Players can no longer access the tops of tents in the attacker's war camp. Okay, that sounds weird, but fair enough. And they fixed an issue that allowed players to enter the enemy spawn in Outpost Rush. I'd never seen anybody do that. In and that's the kind of thing that people would troll and do all the time so really i think the main thing is the fury of the spriggan is actually here it's you know it's live it's going to be until june 13th couple of little extra things with the invulnerability to dark ascent that's pretty interesting then unstable casts are getting a little bit of a buff and a little bit of a correction flame cores are going to be more dropping i suspect the price of them still going to come down so if you're hoarding onto them i personally wouldn't hold onto them any longer i would be ditching as quickly as possible and then the season pass itself is getting uh, buffed in a way you're going to complete it a little bit quicker fine perfect cool let me know your thoughts in the comments below big shout out to my youtube members and if you want to come and watch me play new world or throne of liberty beta then twitch is the exact place you want to be what you should definitely do though is have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye